And even seven stakeholders, they don't call for a review for sexual harassment bill, which is sponsored by the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ovie Omo Agege, and 106 other senators. And then Samaya and say need they to expand the bill to include sexual harassment for workplaces markets and even religious places of worship. Our top top person, Amadine Uyi, in some of these reports. It was a webinar organized by the Network of Reproductive Health Journalists to review the ongoing sexual harassment bill being sponsored by the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Uwe Omoagege, and 106 other senators. Stakeholders say the bill defines sexual relationships between students and lecturers in tertiary institutions. Any relationship between a student and a, an educator or a lecturer that leads to sexual relationship, it cannot be uh, 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 legal simply because the, the, the student consented. However, the continued opposition by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, brought out mixed reactions from participants at the webinar. What we find objectionable is a situation in which uh, things are happening all over uh, universities or higher institutions, or tertiary institutions as we call them here, uh, singled out for pumelin. And it is as if uh, that, is the, uh, that is the haven or a breeding ground for sexual misbehaviors. It's really unfortunate because this is an opportunity for us. And I think that they are missing that, that opportunity, you know, to, to show their solidarity with their students. Because this is one of the first times that the students are asking for solidarity from everyone. And what the National Assembly has done is to provide that solidarity to the students. The academic community have for a long time carried on with so much impunity a lecturer can tell a student, let's see how you will graduate. And I can assure you that student will not graduate. Some students present express their opinions on the bill based on their own experiences in the universities. Like me, it took me time before I could come out of it that I don't think any man can want to marry me because of I've been deprived of my right. I, I think the bill is giving one thing with one hand and it's taking it back with another hand. There can be nothing like mutual consent between uh, a student and a lecturer. Because in actual fact, um, the levels, how they stand, they stand in a different place, so they're not on equal footing. Participants concluded by calling for a review of the bill to include sexual harassment across board. We have sexual harassment in different places, place in the place of work, in the uh, in the community, I told you, I gave you the example of in the markets, everywhere you go. So how you know? I would have loved to see a sexual harassment bill that is all encompassing that criminalizes sexual harassment across board. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa. And yes, so uh, all over Obodo, the world, the breast cancer don't they identified as the leading cause of mortality from cancers uh, among women. And the lifetime risk uh, of women uh, with developed breast cancer, it did like a 10%. And even so, the yearly number of cases, and I like that 3.6% of like 100,000. And yet, breast cancer still be one of the cancers uh, and we, uh, the total cure and fit they achieve if they detect them sharply plus then treat them early. And yes, so before we go follow uh, our guest uh, talk about this cancer matter, we will call up a small break. We will return just now. <music>